If you can't tell by this video, I'm going a little bit stir-crazy being stuck in my house since March, so if I ramble a lot and talk really fast, I'm really sorry, but this is what happens when I don't have social interactions and let all my energy out, so sorry. everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I'm here with my 2020 mid-year book freakout tag. It was originally created by Ellie and Chami, so I'll leave both their links down below if you want to check them out. I've been doing this tag since 2016, so I'll also leave those links down below if you want to check out the videos. I don't have one from 2018, and I'm not really sure why I don't have one from 2018 but apparently a girl did not feel like filming that video, so I don't know. But without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> so the first question is, what is the best book you've read so far for 2020? Mine is The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. I love this book so much. I am obsessed with Alessandra. I don't know if I want to be her or date her, and it's very confusing in my little mind. It's like a villain-villain Slytherin romance that I just like can't get enough of, and I like desperately need a sequel to this book because I need to know what is going on with Alessandra and the king now. Like I just, I need more of them in my life. And if you haven't read this already, I highly recommend you do because it is so freaking good. Next is best sequel you've read in 2020. See, I was going to say Supernova by Marissa Meyer, but then I was like, mm, that's the third book and I kind of want to do like an actual sequel, even though technically it is a sequel, I'm not counting it. So I went with King of Fools by Amanda Foodie. This is the second book in the Shadow Games trilogy, which the third book is coming out soon and I am beyond excited about it, just saying. I loved this book so much. I just really need to know what happens to Levi and N, and I was devastated with how this book ended. Honestly, this could probably be used for my book that made me cry, even though like I don't cry at books, but I came close with this one at one thing that happened. I was not impressed with it. But like I said, I need the third book and I need it now. The next one is new release that you haven't read yet but need to, and I went with Darling Rose Gold by Stephanie Warble. I actually started this like a couple months ago and just haven't picked it back up because I'm trash, but I really need to read this. So many people have read it and loved it and it's like right up my alley. It's like a thriller book about a girl who was told her entire life that she was really sick by her mother and then she finds out that her mother has been like lying to her and she's been making her sick. Her mom got sent to jail and now five years later she's being released and she asks if she can live with her daughter and her daughter's like, yeah, sure, mom, love you, but really is out for revenge and I'm just here for it and I really want to see you what happens and everybody seems to love it so I want to love it too. Next is your most anticipated release for the second half of the year. I am going to say that it is the fourth book in the Ember and Ashes trilogy which is now I guess a quartet. I need it in my life so bad. I'm so excited for it and it's purple so I'm really excited about that too. I read the trilogy this year and I absolutely fell in love with it so I just need to know how the story continues and I need to know if Elias is okay because I love him so much. Number five is your biggest disappointment and I actually have two for this one. First one is Stepsister by Jennifer Donnelly. I was so excited for this because it's like a retelling of Cinderella but from the stepsister's perspective and I was so let down by it. I think I gave it a three out of five stars. I recently unhauled it because if you're new to this channel you don't know this but if I give a book three stars or less then it goes to the thrift store for someone else to enjoy more than I did because I don't have room on my shelf. But yeah, I was really sad about it because it was not what I wanted from that book, but alas. And then the second one that I chose is Forged in Fire and Stars or Stars and Fire or something like that and I don't even remember who this is by, but I read it last month and it sounded really cool and super fun. It was advertised as Game of Thrones meets Ember in the Ashes and I had recently just finished Ember in the Ashes so I was like super keen on it and it was so boring I ended up giving it a 2 out of 5 stars and it was really depressing so... I don't want to talk about it. Next is Biggest Surprise, and I chose The Queen's Rising by Rebecca Ross. I really had very low expectations for this. I did not think I was going to like it at all, and then I ended up giving it a 5 out of 5 stars and being obsessed with it. It's about this girl named Brianna who is part of this Magnolia house, which is basically where these girls grow up and they learn passions, one of four. It's either wit, music, knowledge, or art. You end up picking your passion when you're 
you're 10 and then you study it for seven years until you're like all-knowing and then you're supposed to get a patron who like sponsors you and takes you away from Magnolia House and you like work as whatever you studied and this girl Brianna is supposed to have a patron she doesn't get one and then some mysterious lad comes along and he's like yo I'll sponsor you and she has to decide whether or not to go with him or not and then she discovers this like giant secret about her past and this guy's past and it's like this huge like debacle and it's just like really good and surprising and I know that the sequel's out now so I really want to read that as well but I don't own it and I'm really depressed about it but I highly recommend you guys check this out because it's like a really good fantasy book and I I'm not the biggest fan of fantasy, even though I've talked a lot about fantasy and we'll be talking a lot about a fantasy in this video, so I guess I like fantasy more than I thought. Next is favorite new author. This can either be a debut or a new-to-you author. I honestly do not know if this is her debut, but I love Kim Leggett. This is The Grace Year. It's the only book I've read by this author, but I am obsessed with it. I think it is so freaking good. Highly recommend if you have not read The Grace Year, you need to read it. It's like a thriller where the girls who are 16 from this one village have to go to like a concentration camp and get rid of the magic that they have that they hold over the men. And they spend a year at this camp getting rid of this magic, but basically they just like attack each other and like fight. And if you don't come back from this grace year then your family is like punished and like it's a big thing. I actually found it really interesting because it deals a lot with like the way that females treat each other because society tells us that we need to treat each other that way and it's all like competition and it doesn't need to be and it's like trying to dismantle that theory and I just really liked it and I highly recommend you guys check it out because it's really freaking good. Next is your newest fictional crush and I have two of them in this book. It is Crown of Feathers by Nikki Pau Petro and I literally just finished this this morning and I don't know if I have a crush on Tristan or if I have a crush on Veronica. They're like the two main characters in this book. There's another one named Sev but I didn't really care about him. But Tristan is like the son of the commander of the Phoenix Riders and I'm just like obsessed with him. He's just like this little precious bisexual king and I love him. And then Veronica is like a wannabe phoenix rider but she's just like so fierce and I just love her so much. So I honestly don't really know who I like better, Tristan or Veronica. I think I just love both of them equally. I would love to date either of them so we're going with both of them and if you haven't read this already you definitely need to read it. That's apparently the theme of this video is just read all of my favorites please. Next is your newest favorite character and I went with Mia Covera from Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I don't know what it is about her, I just find her so intriguing and I just like want to know more about her. I know I'm late to the party reading Nevernight and you know discovering her but I'm obsessed. Number 10 is a book that made you cry and like I said previously I don't really cry at books so I found this really hard but I'm just gonna go with the entire An Ember in the Ashes trilogy by Saba Tahir. I sped through these books in like three days which says something because usually with fantasies it takes me longer because my little brain can't keep up with all the things that are going on but I was so invested in this story and just like everything that happened broke my heart but then also like I was super excited about it at the same time. So like I said I am dying for the fourth book and I cannot wait until it comes out because I need to know what happens to Laia and Elias and just everybody in the story and I just I need it. Next is a book that made you happy and this one was another one that I kind of had difficulty picking because I could pick so many books but a lot of books that I read are like fantasy or thriller and like you don't really get happy with thriller books because there's a lot of like murder and killing and trying to figure out who did what and like that's not a happy time. So I picked a contemporary that I read recently and it's Tweet Cute by Emma Lord and I just think that it's really cute. So I read this and a lot of the time I was like giggling and like having a grand old time while I was reading it so I feel like that qualifies us for happiness. I could probably also pick Red, Right, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston which is over there and I'm not gonna get it but that is also an option for this one as well. Next is most beautiful book that you bought this year or received and I have two of them. First one is Belle Revolt by Lindsay Miller. 
I just really like this cover and I'm not really sure why. I just think it's really pretty, so. And then the second one is Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. I, again, just really like this cover. And I also just have this weird thing about girls like facing the other way in dresses. I don't know why, but those are always my favorite covers. I think it's because I want to be the girl on the cover. I don't know, but I just think it's so pretty and like the way that it shines, just oh, chef's kiss. And then the final question is what books do you need to read by the end of the year? And honestly, like every single book on my TBR, I just chose two that were on my dresser because those are the ones that I'm like most needing to read in my opinion. So I picked Shadow Frost by Coco Ma. This is part of my five star predictions video. So I just like need to get it over with and pick it up. But it's just like intimidating to me just because it's a fantasy and fantasies intimidate me so and then the second one is heart of flames by nikki pow petro this is the second book to crown of feathers i literally just finished crown of feathers today and i'm obsessed with it so i really need to know what happens with veronica and val and tristan and i just need to know if they're okay all right everybody so that was my mid-year book freakout tag for 2020 it's so exciting that it's half of the year gone it's not really exciting it's actually really depressing because i feel like it's still the beginning of the year and nothing has been going well but you know hopefully the second half of the year goes better and we're all allowed to leave our house and do fun things in the summertime even though clearly it's not happening anytime soon, whatever. And on a happy note, let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books or if you plan to. I highly recommend you read all of them except for my most disappointed books. Don't read those, those sucked. But other than that, let me know down below what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!